Hey everyone, welcome to our C programming tutorial series. In this series, we will be covering the whole C programming language. First of all, what is C programming language? C is a general purpose procedural computer programming language that is widely used for system programming, embedded systems, and in the development of softwares for various platforms. C is a procedural programming language which means it has a step-by-step -step process to write a code in C. If you skip any step, it will give you error. To getting started with C, you have to first set up your system for working with C. As in my previous video, I have explained you Java installation on Windows machine. Same like that, we have to first set up C in our system. Let's do it first. For working with C language, we need just two things. First one is a code editor and second is C compiler. In this C tutorial series, we are going to use Visual Studio Code as our code editor because this editor works with most of the programming languages. And on the place of C compiler, we are going to download and install MingGW GNU compiler collection. Compiler is a special program that translates a programming language source code into machine code or bytecode etc. Because as we all know, computer only understands 0 and 1. So, first we have to download Visual Studio Code. For this, go to Google Chrome or any browser and search for Visual Studio Code. Now here, click on this first website. Here you can see, Visual Studio Code is available for all the platforms, Mac OS, Windows and Linux. For now, we have to download it for Windows. Our download is started. Now go to download folder in file explorer and double click this VS code file. Here you can see a license agreement on behalf of Visual Studio Code to use their software. Now click on I accept the agreement and next then this is the installation or destination folder of Visual Studio Code. Click on next here. Next. Now on this page, if you want to create a desktop icon, click this box, otherwise leave it. And in the up downwards, click on all the boxes. Now here, click on next. Install. It might take a little much time to install it in your system. As your Visual Studio Code is completed, now click on finish and our Visual Studio Code is launched now. Now in the above, you can see we have file section, edit, selection, view, go, run, terminal. And on the left side, we have explorer, search and in the last, we have extension. This is the very useful tool from where you can download and install extension in your IDE. For now, just close this. Now we have to go to browser again and we have to search for MingGW. After this, click on this sourceforge.net website. Now here, click on download button. Our download is completed now. Go to file explorer, then downloads and double click this mingg setup now here click on install this is the installation directory of mingg folder click on continue now it is installation in your system As this is completed now, now click on continue, a new box is appear. Here you can see a number of packages. For now, we have to install all the above. 
like that click on this box and in click on mark for installation we have to do same for each and every package now after this go to installation on left side and click apply changes now here you have to click on apply now this is downloading all the packages you have selected just wait for few minutes it might takes a little much time according to your internet connection speed as it is completed now and it is extracting all the packages we have downloaded earlier now check this box this will close this automatically when activity is completed these packages contain all the extensions and file function etc for our programs as it is completed now now we have to follow important steps known as environment variable we have to set environment variable for c in our system as like in java we have set environment variable same like that now go to file explorer and here go to our c drive and here you can find out the mingw folder click on it now open bin folder here copy this path from here now close this and go to settings and in settings go to system and then about and in device specification section you can find out advanced system setting click on it now here click on environment variables and in environment variables go to system variables and search for path open it now click on new here and the paste the same path here click ok ok now go to our visual studio code that is our code editor open it now first go to extension on the left side here click it and search for c extension pack now click on this which is provided by microsoft officially now click on install as it installed successfully close this now go to our file and we are going to create a new folder now go to file here and create open folder now here i am going to create my folder on my desktop so right click here and click on new folder i am creating folder as c programs now select this folder our folder is open now now here click on new file and select as text file built in now save this file as control s and name it first.c 
in our C programming language, we are going to save all our files and projects with the extension .c. Now save it. Now we are going to write our first code that is hello world program. Now this is our basic program in C which is hello world program. Now you can run this program from a direct runner or you can run this program from, from terminal. And we are going to run this program using terminal. Let's see how. Go to terminal and click new terminal here. And write up pro commands like GCC and our first program name, first dot C. Here GCC is our compiler. We are calling our compiler here. And this is our file. This compiler will run, uh, compile this file. Now click enter. Now this, at this point, I have to write a code exe. Here, slash a is a default exe file by created by compiler, and exe stands for executable file. And in MacBook or macOS, we are going to use dot out. Now click OK. Here you can see our Hello World program is running successfully. For now, don't worry about how this program runs. You will get to know about this in upcoming videos. But here I am telling you about the basics of this program. Like, here you can see include stdoio.h, which means it is including this library in our program. And this library contains all the functions like our printf, scanf, return, etc. And after that, we have our print function, which will print everything on the screen which we write inside this columns you can double this function like printf and if i save this and run again click new terminal gcc first dot c now here you can see it print us hello world and hello coders and if you want to print hello coders in next line you can do also just by putting slash n here now save it and run it again gcc first now here you can see it is now printed on next line so that's all for today see you in the next video please like share and subscribe our channel thank you